Greetings, Inquisitors. Oh, welcome to the Holocron. This is the week 151 update for the Darth Loquitur account. I update this account's progress every week. We go through all the characters, ship upgrades, mods, datacrons, things we're doing for the account so that people can follow along. Please remember, as we get started, use the diagram up above. It shows you how to use your like saber to annihilate the like button. If you could do that, I would certainly appreciate it. All right, let's get into it and see what happened in the account this week. So first things first, we're starting to restock bronzium wiring. We took a break from uh, relicking characters to higher relic levels. We did a couple night sisters. I did Daka. Now I'm doing uh, zombie. And uh, in, in the Jedi Master Luke Skywalker journey, we only have three characters left to relic, but we have an awful lot of relic levels to put on two characters. And we're, uh, we've been out of bronzium wiring. So here we're going in. We got some uh, bronze and wiring from events this week. We're going to be able to make 82 more from uh, sacrifices. And we're still pretty low compared to where we want to be in terms of like the, the stock of materials that I break down. So we're still kind of restocking after we depleted it to build those robots for the territory battle uh, operations. First things first, we're going to get R2-D2 up to Relic 7. We're going to get bigs to relic three so before we go into upgrading more characters we're just going to finish out the ones that uh, that we've got that weren't at the correct level we still need to get chewbacca to relic six as well he's relic five so we're going to post him up and then uh, next week in the update we'll make sure to get him to relic six as well and we'll start working on jedi training ray here we're going to get uh, our range trooper to gear 12, seven stars, finally. It's a character that I farmed early on. I thought I was gonna be able to commit to it. Never really got back to it, but uh, with the upcoming raid and wanting to build an Iden team, it's a good opportunity. We run out of Carbantes. I buy some with my raid currency here. We get uh, Shore Trooper to gear 11. That's pretty nice. That's a really good character. Uh, we're gonna want that character to be one of the ones that we relic first coming out of this uh, Preparation for the new raid. Good in the Iden team. Good for a tank if we need one some point in the future. HK-47 will give another gear tier to. We're prepping these characters so that pretty soon we'll be able to go in and do the Malik event. We also have to start Ben Solo here. We've committed to uh, building Ben Solo to help the team again. <laughs> Yet another, um, uh, let's say, sacrifice for the guild here. We're going to build this Ben Solo. Now because we're building Jedi Training Ray, we should be able to build a team somewhere that we actually have uh, a home for, for Ben Solo. So we'll take a look at uh, putting him in with Jedi Training Ray in some way. Um, mod work for the week. We get some mods to, to work on here. This is a speed mod with an offense main stat. We get nine speed but then fail to hit on the next uh, upgrade. And there's, uh, we got a lot of gray mods that worked out with four and five speed this week. Uh, here's another one that works out to nine and then doesn't work out. If it was 10 or 11, I would hit uh, the next upgrade to purple, but with it being a blue mod, I'm willing to take it to blue with two speed rolls because maybe I'll get a third speed roll. But it, on, the, on the lesser speed rolls, I'm, I'm not going to invest the materials. Uh, and here we go again. This is offense, main stat, speed. I'm thinking about hitting it still at green, but then um, I end up passing. And we're rapidly running out of uh, slicing materials here. Here we get a second speed hit, 15 speed. We take it to gold. We're willing to take it to six dots to keep trying. Um, we take another hit, take it to blue, get 20 speed, take it to purple. And then we're kind of stuck at 20 speed with no more slicing materials. So we'll lock that down. We'll get back to it at some point. We'll be able to slice that up and see if we get the fifth hit. Do some calibrations. I don't want to do calibrations until I get that last hit to gold and see if I get the speed. And see what the final uh, distribution on the uh, stat gains looks like before I, before I attenuate. All right, so we're down to the last couple mods here. Things aren't working out. Here's a crit avoidance. Uh, that would be nice if it worked out. We need a few more of those arrows somewhere, but uh, it didn't work out. 
we get into the blue and green and we're just done like the slicing materials are completely gone so purple and gold same thing there's really nothing we can do we, we're completely broke on slicing materials so we go into datacron we roll accuracy on this one right away we just skip it uh, here we get offense then we get crit damage this one's looking good the mechanic is uh, speed up which we like then we'll get crit chance then we get accuracy yeah we really don't like the accuracy but it's not bad and that's all we're going to be able to do with datacrons for the week uh, we got a bunch of datacrons uh, started here uh, I guess I got more than I thought. Okay, so we got another one to three here. We got some crit damage and crit chance. And we're out of those uh, level two materials. So I guess that's it for the Datacrons for the week. So overall, interesting uh, progress for the week. We got uh, the relic situation is getting stabilized. The uh, um, JML is starting to get close, so yeah, lots of lots of good stuff happening. So week four, uh, 151, we're up to 6.94 million galactic power. Hard to believe this account's creeping up this fast on 7 million, uh, but uh, there you are. 91 relics, 103 Zetas, 12 Omicrons, JMK still in the top 20 in Arena Profundity, barely still getting us a top five. We've got four Leviathans in the Fleet Shark now. I believe so there's one slot for for my profundity to beat in the top five somewhere still but it's getting harder and harder to get my daily crystals out of fleet that way and uh, I, I may need to consider a, a bit of a change to my plan and develop something to deal with these leviathans um, <laughs> It was nice when the Leviathan uh, could be beaten, but they've continued to make adjustments to the ship, and now it's it's pretty rough. So maybe I'll have to build Grand Inquisitor and build the counter to it. Uh, I'm in a position where I could build my own Leviathan, so maybe I'll just have to drop my ambitions to um, charge into Leia, and maybe I have to take a detour for Leviathan. These are all things we have to consider as we go forward. Uh, we're still in Kyber 4, and Jedi Training Ray uh, will be the relic target for the next week. Energy spending, we're on Rex and Nisa twice. Then we're farming a little bit of Ninth Sister, Short Trooper, still trying to get that to seven stars. Uh, I get Sabine and Zori and some other characters like that up on the tab. I'm not farming them every day, but when it's relevant for light side or dark side day, I'm back to doing the objectives. So... Um, just I got a few more characters earmarked for the long haul. In Fleet, we're still doing TIE Defender and Marin. Cantina, we're doing Signal Data. We'll try to get some Hondo here and there when we can. Mod Energy, just going to do all slicing materials next week. There's no... Uh, if, we, if we farm a few slicing materials and a bunch more mods, when I couldn't even slice my blue and green mods for this week, that's not helping. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, just uh, try to restock on a bunch of those basic slicing materials for a week, and then we'll get back into mod farming. Refresh strategy is three on everything for the three basic refreshes. Planning is the same. We're working on JML. We keep getting distracted by other things, uh, building stuff for the guild, and maybe we'll get distracted by fleet after JML, but that's still the, the journey that we're working on. We do have to build this Ben Solo uh, as a character for territory battles operations. Um, and again, guys, if your guild asks for volunteers to do this kind of stuff and you don't volunteer anything, then eventually you're going to be told what to build and you're probably going to be told to build something that you don't like. So when they offer up, you know, who wants to build what, I volunteer for a character like Ben Solo, which is going to be useful for me someday. I like Ray. We're going to build Ray as a galactic legend in this account at some point, right? So... It doesn't hurt me to build Ben Solo. I'm getting a Jedi training ray. Maybe I can put him in the JTR team. So uh, it's, it's not a waste of a character. And I would certainly rather be building that than, um, you know, Lobots or uh, Young Hans or some crazy stuff like that that I might have to build. So, yeah, I, I don't feel bad about volunteering for some of this stuff. And uh, I, I just thought about this, though, because it's like JML on the Abtisio account, man. I went from Java into JML and just got boom, boom, done. It was, it was so fast. 
And uh, on local air count, I keep having to do other things, and it's taken forever to get to um, uh, the JML. But when I think about, like, last year this time, how long it would have taken uh, because the new RAID system really accelerated our, our relicking from, let's say, 10 days per relic to six and a half days per relic, something like that. And uh, you get, I got so used to it so fast that now it's like, oh, my gosh, you know, it's taken forever. But it's still, it's still going a lot faster than it ever did before. So I got to remind myself it's fine. Be patient. Just a couple more weeks. Stock up some bronzing wiring and then we'll get it. Speaking of bronzing wiring, continuing to do the tracking. Um, we're back out of the dark side farms that we did for um, getting Job of the Hut up and running. We got him. We got his alt. And now we're getting back on track with the bronzium wiring. Week 149, remember, we bursted down, used up all of our materials to get those two droids up and running for the operations. Um, we got 107. We made 82. We got 25 from events. We used up 140, though. I mean, we, we got those characters, R2 to Relic 7, took 60, and taken um, uh, Biggs to Relic 3 or Wedge. Uh, I think it was Biggs, whatever. But uh, that took another 80, so 160 or 140 uh, got used up in a hurry. So we're down to three bronze wirings going into next week. We'll see where that leads us. And uh, again, we'll start working on that Ben Solo. We'll finish out the Jedi training Ray. We'll start thinking about some teams that we can put together with Ben Solo and Ray and uh, start building up the planning from there. That's going to be it for the week 151 update. Thank you all for watching. Remember, hit the like button on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Subscribe to the channel to see more stuff like this in the future. The um, uh, link to the Discord is in the description of the Holocron down below. Uh, click that. Come on over. Join our Discord. we got a fantastic Discord community. 96% less toxic than the normal Discord community. It's a great place for newer players to hang out, mid-game players, lots of experienced people. Uh, willing to talk about, answer questions, and, and help people out. So, hope to see you over there. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next Holocron.